Well, due to lack of time, I've been ignoring this firewall. I've been wanting to tear it apart for quite a while. It's the Palo Alto PA-5060. It's capable of 20 gigabits per second firewall throughput, 10 gigabits per second threat prevention throughput, 4 gigabits per second of IPsec VPN throughput, 4 million max sessions, which sounds impressive. I assume it is. <laughs> 120,000 new sessions per second, which is interesting. Does that mean you'd have to wait um, around 40 seconds to get those 4, four million sessions going? I don't know. Uh, 88,000 IPsec VPN tunnels slash tunnel interfaces, 20,000 SSL VPN users, and... 225 virtual routers. So, unfortunately, I'm more of a hardware guy. <laughs> I don't really understand what half of that means, other than, ooh, fancy numbers. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I've been wanting to kind of tear this apart, see what's inside. I've taken a few peeks, so I have some general ideas. And I think I want to spin this around the table, so I think I'm going to pause and just do that. I can't hold the camera and do it without gouging my table out. All right, well, here's the back end. It has redundant power supplies. And they're made by, looks like Emacs. I don't really know if it's a good brand or not, but I see it a lot of server stuff. Looks like 500 watts each. And unfortunately, this won't be a destructive teardown. Um, because I want to play with this and do some stuff because I already have a general idea of what I'm going to find inside based on this little poking and prodding I've done. So this is kind of neat. I don't know who it's made by. It might be, um, shoot. <sighs> I'm trying to blank on the brand. <laughs> it, it's made by a reputable brand that makes a lot of, uh, drive carriers like this. And... It supports two two and a half inch drives with no sleds or caddies needed. And internally, I'm pretty excited about these. Not that SSDs are worth much these days, but some uh, Intel data center series, 240 gig drives, kind of nice. Should be two of them in here. Yep. And this, because I've already taken it off before, memory serves correct is how you access the fan filter and fans and man this is long <laughs> five fans it looks like um probably 60 millimeter not 80 and it literally goes like the full length front to back pretty impressive so we'll sneak peek in there but um the next thing i want to do is pop the cover off so i'm gonna put my camera on my wonderful little tripod setup and i think i'm actually gonna need to raise it up a little higher all right well this is gonna be a little noisy i think probably should have done this off camera in all honesty but i'm committed now Whoop. Oh, it's a number three. Whoops. So, while I'm tearing this down to spoil the fun, my suspicion is there's going to be some sort of dual Xeon motherboard in here with some custom breakout board that is going to connect the front ports to the motherboard. That drive holder in the back um, is either meant to go in a three and a half inch or a five and a quarter inch drive bay. Well, one of those little adapter things. Kind of mad at myself that I can't remember the brand name that I suspect it to be, but um, it is a brand that I've I've liked and I've wanted to buy stuff from. It's just they're uh, pricey. <laughs>
Uh oh. I need to grab a different screwdriver bit. Alright, this will be the bit I need. Worst part is, is once I see the brand name on that uh, little thing that's holding the SSDs, I'm either going to be like, yeah, that's, the, that's what I thought it was. I'm like, oh, I wasn't expecting that. One thing I can't believe about this unit is how heavy it is. Uh oh. Drop the screw. Well, that is unfortunate. It's kind of crazy because, as far as I can tell, there's no like rail system that went with it. It was just, uh, Held on my rack ears. Ugh, that warning sticker. I need something sharp to break it. There we go. Probably out of frame. <laughs> I have to do this on the edge. Because the screws, there we go, are so low that I can't hit them straight on otherwise. I guess I could tip it on side. A little side profile here. Oh, well, the drill's really close to the mic, so sorry about that. I will admit, even though I have a good idea of what I'm going to see, I have been waiting on this for a while now, and I'm really excited to see what's inside. Oh, I suspect I missed something. Hmm. No? Is this still holding? No. Alright, I think I can do this. Hmm. Well, I think this is going to get noisy. We'll see here. No, it doesn't want to slide. Lifts. But I don't see any front screws. I think what I need to do is I'm going to lift it by its back and then just kind of try to shimmy it forward. I think, there we go. I think it's catching on something on the front. And nothing to see there. <laughs> you good? Cat wants to join me. Oh wow! I didn't honestly didn't even look at this as I was moving the uh, top panel off to the side. Holy cow! Well, this is going to be a bit more involved teardown than I was expecting. That's for sure. Because I want to see what's under this PCB. I mean, I could take a naughty sneaky peek. And, uh, yeah, it's more of what I was expecting under there. This is not what I was expecting, though. I don't know why. Kind of makes sense. It needs, like, a fancier controller board. Considering this is supposed to be, like, a high bandwidth, high throughput, whatever. But, yeah. Looks like I got some 4 gig memory. Yeah, 9 chips, so it's mm, probably ECC. Well, I mean, it's going to be ECC, but, like, it's probably not registered. Because usually if it's registered ECC, they have a little bit more chippage there than that. I don't even know if a person could look that up by part number or not. There we go. Fertium. Hmm. I'm not motivated. <laughs> I should. Actually, forget it. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll look it up. Um... Oh my, I'm going to set this down here. And the model number is VL393T5263. Dash. 
E seven WJ. Mm, specs would be nice. Oh, no, that can't be right. I'll go to the eBay listing. Let's see what the eBay listing says. Uh, no, nope, I have to go to, go to the manufacturer's website probably. No, that's not the manufacturer's website. Hmm. Well, unfortunately, the people on eBay don't know. Uh, looks like this is a list. Maybe I could search this. Oh, I gotta type it in again. 393. T5263. That's a different part number. Weird. So it could potentially be DDR2, actually. Um. Hmm. Okay. There's six sticks of that. Presumably all the same at least. Yep. Wow. <laughs> Quite the power connector for the fans. Although I guess if each one is uh, pulse width modulated, then that would be a lot of wires being fed to them. Here's what appears to be connector on the power supply. have two of these. They're not worth selling, unfortunately. Uh, I don't remember what they were selling for, though. I think it might have been like $100 or something, free shipping on eBay. Unfortunately, I'm not... Uh, I can't do eBay affiliate links, mostly because I didn't want to agree to their policy for reasons, but um, I'd love to do affiliate links promoting these if people are interested in them, or I could make some little money, but yeah <laughs> based on the uh terms i kind of felt like that ebay was gonna use the affiliate program to threaten my selling account if i did something wrong so i just said no i'm not gonna make as much money off affiliate links as i would just selling stuff this almost looks like sas connector although it's i believe it's a board to board interconnect yeah it looks remnant of Reminiscent of a SAS connector. Where did I put my drill? Alrighty. It would be interesting if I could boot this um, system without this top board. But I'm not sure what it would do. Considering I guess I don't really care about them, it wouldn't, wouldn't kill anything to try. It's not like it's going to blow up in flames. <laughs> but, yeah, I would say for me to be able to justify selling this on eBay as a working unit that I don't even know how to test or reset, <laughs> um, they have to be worth like $200. Because I'm going to have to pay probably about $70 to pack and ship it. Another $20 in fees and like, I'll make 100 bucks, And then I have to hope it doesn't get damaged in shipping or returned. So it just, that's why a lot of this stuff just gets recycled. I mean, because unreasonable people on eBay have made it not viable to sell stuff. Holy cow. So all this, the only interconnection it has to the mother, well yeah, the motherboard, is this little SAS looking connector. So apparently that little SAS connector looking thing has enough bandwidth to feed all these ports. Uh, yeah, the front's not labeled, so I don't know what speeds those ports are. I would assume most of them are gigabit. Maybe the uh, four SFP ports that are off by themselves are 10 gig. Um, so there's a cage around the motherboard that I need to get off. 
I'm going to have to remove those screws off frame just due to their weird positioning. Yeah, I was not expecting that card there. That is, holy cow, quite the card. Honestly, the main reason why I care is because, well, it'll scrap real nice. <laughs> yeah, I drill through the label. Yeah, that card, I mean, that card, top card by itself, might be like $20 of scrap there for me. So, that's nice. <laughs> I did pay money for this, unfortunately. It's part of a uh, lot of equipment that I bought from a data center that was getting rid of old stuff. I didn't really plan on like making any money on this necessarily. It was one of those things I just kind of bought as a gamble. I mean, obviously I'll make some money on it, but it's not. It's not like that story. Boy, I don't know how long ago that was. I remember some story about like some scrapper that buys like airplanes or whatever to scrap. And they found some like multi million dollar Fabergé egg in it. And uh, yeah, no, I don't, I don't get stuff like that. The only way in my business I would see something crazy like that was if like somebody gave me hard drive with their Bitcoin wallet and Bitcoin is still worth something. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, when I get hard drives, they basically get wiped. So I'm not going to waste my time looking through people's stuff. I don't want to be right anyway. So yeah. It's one of those things where it's not even worth it. Just like that's the thing I don't get about scammers and fraud. I guess a lot of the scammers are in other countries, so the risks aren't as great. But like here in the U.S., if I'm going to try to scam or rip somebody off, at this point it has to be for like a couple million dollars for it to be worth my time. Assuming it's relatively low risk. It's like I don't get why, why people do it. Oh, I'm going to rob a bank for $10,000. Well, good for you. <laughs> it's like... You're going to get caught, and you're not going to make any money. <laughs> so, that is not at all what I was expecting. That is very interesting. Huh. I was certain this was going to be dual Xeon. But, uh, it's not. Oh, what? Oh, okay. All right, I'm stupid. Um, I'm still confused though. Mega management console. So the ports on the motherboard, they're used for management and stuff. What in the world? Because this is labeled SAS-1 on the motherboard. What in the world? I was trying to think here. That completely threw me off. I don't understand. Because, so like my first thought on this is the purpose of this motherboard is to boot off the drives and then it's making like a virtual RAM drive or something that runs that top board. But, why? Why would you do that? Because it says SAS. Here, I'll zoom, and I'll zoom into it so you can see for yourself. Yeah, this connector right here, this little blue, blue cable connector, that goes to the upper controller card, which is currently on a chair. Goes to the port here. I don't know if it's labeled or not. I should do a close-up of this board too. You'll have to forgive me for getting to do that. I will uh, work on that later in the video. But I'm just trying to think about this here. Like, how in the world? 
Huh. I mean, this is probably like pre NVMe drives. Let's see what kind of RAM this is using. Yeah, another un unlabeled. Um. I would have to grab a stick of DDR3 and DDR2 that I know what it is and compare the notches. Or I could just Google this model number on the motherboard. See, I actually look stuff up occasionally. <laughs> uh, I should probably quit being lazy sometimes. MB-8874. Yeah, it's proprietary looking. It's... Huh. Yeah, the only thing that comes up on that is Palo Alto motherboard. So my guess at this point is this boots off those drives. It loads whatever it needs in the memory, which it only has 4 gigs of. Because these are both 2 gig sticks, I assume. Yeah, they're both 2 gig sticks. 4 gigs of memory. And then it's doing some sort of like RAM drive stuff or something. Cause, cause like, so I guess my logic behind this is, if this is capable of running off a SAS drive, why not just use a SAS drive? Like, what, what do you gain from this? Could they not have integrated the management functionality onto the controller card? I don't know. And unfortunately, there's no expansion slots and there's no um, video outputs. So, like, I can, I can power this on, I can boot it up, but I'm only going to be able to see whatever I can see through console. I was honestly thinking they were using this SAS cable as, like, some sort of PCI Express um, expansion cable of some sort, an interconnect. I don't know why I thought the motherboard was going to be bigger when I already knew the positioning of the power supplies and the fans. But, yeah, that really threw me off. Also, I just noticed this motherboard's only running off a uh, EPS 12-volt connector. I'm assuming this power connector is a standard 24-pin, which is running that top card. That's just interesting. <laughs> I, I was not expecting that. Now I'm starting to think I'm going to see a mobile processor under here. I wasn't planning on pulling it off, to be honest, but um, now I want to see without having to power it on. It's stuck on. I wonder if I can tell if this has pins or not. I don't know, it's LGA. I'm gonna have to crack it off. Ooh, crunchy. Mm, it's gonna snap. And then I'm gonna get cut by something. Or I'm gonna rip the whole socket off. Holy cow. Well, that's not coming off. It's take, gonna take the board with it. Well. That's curious. I don't think about that. I wasn't expecting that. I guess what I should do is grab some DDR2 and 3 real quick. I will be back. Alright, and I'm back. Alright, so that's a stick of DDR2. This is a stick of DDR3. Notch doesn't line up. So... Yeah, that's DDR2. I mean, this will plug into here. I don't think it would work because, well, there's already ECC in there, but... <laughs> um, yeah. And I believe the top card will also be DDR2. Because if this isn't DDR3, then I don't know why the top card would be. Yeah, it's DDR2. Interesting. Hmm. Well, I'm bummed I can't uh, pop the top off of that. 
I was going to do some other video ideas with this, like I did with the uh, other firewall I have. I still want to do more stuff with that, but um, the problem is there's not much I can do with this at this point. Um, I mean, I can get destructive. See what's under, like, this chip here. I still have another one to play with. I think I'm going to get something to drink, and it'll only be a few seconds for you, but it'll be some time for me, and then I will have a decision on what I want to do. <laughs> so I will be back yet again. Well, it's been some time. I had a snack. Just some hot chocolate here I want to drink some more of. Mm. It's the cheap stuff, but it's tasty. <clears throat> so, I did some looking. There's only one example of one of these that's sold on eBay right now, and it's for $100 plus shipping. The cheapest ones are $200. And it really just doesn't make any sense to sell it. So I'm going to harvest it for parts and sell the parts because I probably sell the power supplies for more than what this unit's worth. Which means this has officially become a destructive teardown. Hmm. I just realized I'm probably not going to pry that off. This one, though. Oh, man, I'm going to do some damage to this board. <laughs> it's going to suffer dearly. Got my safety glasses on. And, yeah, we're just going to... Rip this off. Ah, oh, there we go. Ooh, that's a beefy chunk of copper there. I don't know if I'm going to be able to read what this CPU is. Being that this board is running ECC, it should be a Xeon. I can kind of see it. Uh, rubbing alcohol will hopefully clean this up. I don't think it's burnt on. I think it's just really, really crappy. Thermal <laughs> based. Oh, yeah, it's not burnt on, although it is pretty hard stuff. So Xeon L5410, can't focus, there we go. 12 meg, 1333, so it's probably a quad core. Honestly, not a terrible chip. It's a, just a low power one, so low, lower CPU speed. All right. Still have one more of these, so I do want to see if I can learn anything from it or not. But I've decided this one needs to go because I don't feel like I'm going to gain anything from it. Worst case scenario, if I find some really cool use for this, I'll just buy another one. <laughs> they don't sell very well, so the people that are asking 200 I'll offer them $100 for them. Alright, so barely, that's impressive. I barely damaged the board when I jammed a screwdriver in the heat sink. A little surface scratch. It probably did go th through, no, it went through the silk screen the most. Um, I really don't want those little plastic things springing in my eyes. I'm assuming chips out under this. Oh, that's adhesive. Yeah, it's just an Intel chipset. Um, uh, it's not much of a lift from that. I don't know if I'm gonna get this off without. Oh, oh, it's foam. Screams Intel. Unfortunately, you can't see what I'm doing because I need to be able to have this close enough to read. There's the chip by the SAS connector. Feeling crazy. Let's look it up. Oh, I will say one thing. I like the Samsung keyboard better than the Motorola one. Doesn't have space for number. 
on the keyboard. There we go. Well, Google recognized it. So, oh, so that chip there is Gigabit Ethernet controller. So maybe it's using the uh, motherboard chipset for SAS or whatever's under that bigger one. I'm going to have to grab something to remove those pins though. Alright, I think these needle nose pliers are what I want. Just hate these pens because they end up launching in your face otherwise. I know from experience, unfortunately, because I had one hit me in the eye once. Luckily, the doctors say it's seeming obvious, other than my eye hurting. <laughs> oh boy. I'm not wearing my safety glasses now, I'm thinking about. Hmm. I may end up getting annoyed and just cutting these off. Alright, I'll cut them off. These spring pins, they do their job. They just suck when you have to remove them. Especially if you want to remove them without damaging stuff, but I don't care about damaging stuff in this case, so. All right. Although I don't want stuff in the power supply, but it's too late now. Oh, that's not gonna work. Golly. She came off. Nice. How oh, cool I am actually gonna be able to clean it off too. I don't know what stories the thermal paste they used in this, but it's terrible. <laughs> There's an Intel part number on it. I think. I don't know, the spacing's weird. Uh, yeah, this is my own eyes. SL ARL. I better add Intel. Mm -hmm. Oh, alright. So that is a memory controller. Gosh, that's a big chip. It's actually in their uh, little database, too. Oh, well, I guess that's all. <laughs> so that's a memory controller. Another chip here, I guess I can pull. And a little foam sticker. Oh, same part number. This is another uh, Gigabit Network controller. So, yeah, that's interesting. Kind of bummed. I was hoping this motherboard would be something more uh, tinkering friendly. But, I don't know. It would be interesting to plug this into like a SAS backplane, but I don't feel like learning how to install stuff over a console <laughs> into this. Well... Now that this is a destructive teardown, ah, uh, that didn't feel good. I'll take a closer look at this. These processors, at least that's what I'm presuming they are, are surrounded by micron memory chips. Probably also DDR2. I don't foresee myself wanting to look these chips up though. Mostly because I don't think they're going to be easy to look up. I'm guessing these are probably going to be like Broadcom stuff or custom stuff or Xilinx uh, Vertex chips. Be my guess without seeing them. And then towards the left side of the screen, those chips would be uh, network controller chips. 
and I take a drink of hot chocolate. Hmm. Mm, better put safety glasses back on. <clears throat> oh no. So those are glued on. don't think I'm going to be able to remove those. Let's see if I can get this plastic clip off first though. Yeah, I'm not going to move, be able to remove those. Um, well, I am going to have to do it one way or another with, to recycle this board. Oh. Cavium Oction Plus. Okay. I guess it's not. All right, it's, it's a more of a paste. It looked like it was a, a white thermal epoxy almost. So I assume at least these three chips are gonna be the same because they have the same color of plastic around them and they're surrounded by the same memory slots. Just a hunch. Hmm. Gotta be careful because these edges are razor sharp. Ah! <laughs> Watch out! <laughs> oh, that scared me. I was gonna stab my finger there. Yeah, so these three chips are. I just feel it's reasonable to assume they're all gonna be the same. Whoop! Whoop! All right, no love for those. Violins only. And there's another one. I'm guessing these are all network controllers. Ah. Uh, treacherous. I should be wearing gloves. Uh, without looking them up, I almost wonder if those are, uh, if that's Marvel. Oh, there's an Altera chip right there. EMCC for the uh, SFP ports. I'm assuming these chips are going to be different. Potentially. Oh, trying to do this without drawing blood. Yep, Vertex 6. Unfortunately, I think I need Vertex 7 chips if I want to get more than scrap price. <laughs> um, let's try something different here. Twisty, twisty. Nope. I might hit up my guy that uh, buys chips from me. Assuming it's damaged. Eh, it's not great for those. Oh well. Net logic. And nothing to see there. Alrighty. Yep. That one also looks like it's thermal epoxyed on, but I'm probably wrong. More cav cavium chips. Hmm. 
Broadcom. I was wondering if I'd see any Broadcom stuff on here. That is a chonker of a chip, too. Jeez. Big boy. <laughs> Lots of memory around it, too. Just trying to figure out how to leverage this one off without uh, different tools. Problem is, I need like a hammer. I have an idea. Everything's a hammer when it needs to be. <laughs> Ah, it worked. Shouldn't be mean to my drill. I love those drills and they don't sell them anymore. Oh, another Vertex 6 chip. Hmm. Apparently they come in different sizes. I honestly don't even know what's so special about these Vertex chips. I assume they're just processors or something. Oops. Anyhow. So I think that's that. That uh, really uh, drug on longer than it probably should have, but uh, hopefully it was interesting. I'm still kind of bummed it wasn't what I was expecting inside. Also a little half stick of, half length stick of uh, DDR2. Yeah, I was really expecting a uh, dual Xeon motherboard in here. And a little breakout board for the top ports. Instead, I got the opposite. But, unfortunately, it really doesn't make any sense to sell this. I don't know how to test it. And... Um, there's just no, no sales history. And even if I sold it for 200, there's also risks involved. So I will keep the two SSDs that are worth yeah, probably $40 to me total. And then I get these really nice little adapter trays. Oh, I guessed right. Um, yeah. I was, I was thinking StarTech. There's another brand that I'm trying to blank on that also makes really nice drive options like this. But, um, yeah. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. But maybe I'll use it in a server project or something. Um, maybe I'll build a NAS. And then I'll have two of these that I could put SSDs in that are removable. And, um, I don't know. Maybe I'll make a little mini NAS. But, uh... Yeah, I've uh, made quite quite the mess of things here. So hopefully that was interesting. And if you made it this far, thanks for watching.